This video is about Dave Canterbury's new book, Bushcraft 101. My name is Brian and you are watching Survival on Purpose. Okay, welcome back to Survival on Purpose. Thanks again for joining me. Anyway, as I said, this video is going to be about Dave Canterbury's new book, Bushcraft 101. And I just got this book. I have read the entire thing. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on it real quick. It's not going to be a long, boring book review. And hopefully if you're, if you're interested in maybe considering buying this, my, my thoughts will help you make a decision. So first of all, and I'm going to try to talk real quickly, but I like to talk a little bit about Dave Canterbury. You know, Dave, he's a controversial figure. A lot of people like him. A lot of people can't stand him. And I'm not going to get into all that, okay? I'll tell you that I first learned of Dave Canterbury from the show, Dual Survival, like most people. And actually, the reason I started watching Dual Survival was because of um, this guy, Cody Lundin. And I actually bought this book several years ago, and I liked it. And I, when I noticed it, anyway, when I noticed there was a TV show and his guy was on it, I thought, okay, that's pretty interesting. I'll see what it's about. Well, then I found about this Dave Canterbury guy. And, you know, he was obviously, first of all, it's a reality show, and I am not fooled by reality shows. I have actually been involved in a, re in a reality show, and it's, I won't say the name of it, but it's about extreme construction building homes and um because i'm a plumber and i actually had the, the dubious pleasure of being involved in one of their bills and so i'm fully aware that the reality show calling a reality show a reality show is like calling gun control crime control okay i understand there's two opposite things but uh, anyway, it's an entertaining show, I thought, and I kind of thought, well, I heard that this guy had a bunch of YouTube videos, so I thought I'd check him out. And I started watching him, and actually, I watched every video he had. I went back, I spent, I don't know, too many, too many hours watching videos over the course of a few months. But I have to say, I learned a lot, a lot, a lot from Dave Canterbury's videos. I mean, a lot. And you know, I've been doing this, you know, outdoor stuff and camping and Boy Scout stuff for years and years and years. And, you know, just go, you don't know everything. And I've never pretended to be an expert. But, but anyway, long story short, I learned a lot from him. Now, some of the stuff, you know, more traditional enactment type stuff, I'm not really interested in that. That's just not me. I'm, I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying it's just not for me. So when his first book came out, I thought, I got to get that. And I procrastinated and wound up, they don't have it in print anymore. And I got it on Kindle. And straight up, I was disappointed. You know, it just the book was not very well formatted, not very well written. It just didn't seem very like a very professional attempt some of that I'm sure some of that had to do with Kindle because I've got a book on Kindle uh, about water filters because I'm a plumber and you got to get your formatting right and it's not necessarily simple to do so I'll give them a break on that but still it just wasn't you know wasn't all that I did so I got the book anyway read it all I gotta say I give it a thumbs up two thumbs up this is an absolutely a great book and you know, I've read more Kohansky's book Bushcraft it's a great book too. This is more geared, what I like about this book, it is more geared towards my kind of habitat, which I'm in Georgia. It's the Eastern Woodlands kind of thing. So there's not a lot of stuff in here about spruce and, and, and that kind of stuff, because things that work in the boreal forest maybe don't work as well, you know, in the woodland forest. So without further ado, let's just talk about the book itself. It's very professionally done. You can see it's, it's just a nice looking book. The binding is good. The printing is good. It's got um, nice line drawings in it. Let me find you a good one I like. Here's an example. So that's about tying a knot. You can look at that drawing and you can learn to tie a knot, which is really good. Um, so he had a, obviously he had some help editing this book and actually putting it together. The writing style is very professional, very good. I mean, I just it's an easy read. It's, it's entertaining. And it basically has two parts. Part one is about gear. And, and how to use the gear and part two is about skills and, and you know actual field usage stuff so I gotta tell you I like the line drawings like I showed you on the um, on the knots the line drawings just make things really really clear here's another example for just for a quick example I don't wanna mess up his copyrights or anything but you know so it shows you about tying a stick to a canteen cup to me line drawings make things sometimes a lot clearer than photographs because you can just show just the details you need and, and not all the other stuff uh, so anyway, the first part's about, about gear. Some of it is really, really good in detail. The uh, tools have got a lot of great details. You know, the knot chapters about different knots, that's, you, can, you can read that chapter and learn to tie those knots. 
some of the other stuff is probably not as great a detail and, and it's really kind of sketchy and that's not because obviously Dave doesn't know it I think some of it is just the fact that some things are just hard to translate into the written word and it's something you really have to demonstrate and show them so I got the feeling in a few places in this book that if you hadn't watched the videos you really wouldn't get it now having watched a video of this or that or, or know how to do the skill already then I get it but if you were just brand new some of the things in here you're gonna you're, they're gonna be maybe point you in the right direction to go do some more research and learn how to find out which is good but you, you are not gonna be able to learn everything you need to know from this book obviously like for example the trees he's got a chapter on trees and edible plants and stuff and there are no diagrams in there and so you're probably going to need to go do some more research. It's good information that tells you this tree is good for this, this tree is good for this, but you're going to need to do some more research on your own to learn to identify those trees properly and plants properly and stuff like that. I personally think that's good because anybody that can buy a single book or watch a couple of videos and think they're going to learn everything they need to learn, they're, they're deceiving themselves. So in some ways it's good that some of the things in here which really are too complex to be covered in, in, a, in a chapter or a section of a chapter you know, they're going to point you in the right direction and force you to go and do some more research if that's what you want to learn. And I think that's a good thing. So altogether, a little recap. I told you this was going to be fast. I think it's an excellent book. I would highly recommend it to add to your library, even if you've been doing this stuff all your life. Um, you know, I've been, like I say, in the outdoors and doing Boy Scout camping stuff all my life. I still learned a lot of stuff from this book. There's a whole chapter on trapping and trapping techniques, which is something I've never really fooled with. And it's very interesting. Another thing that I thought was pretty interesting was, you know, I was wondering, is this going to be like filled with sales pitches for the Pathfinder store? And honestly, there's a couple, uh, but not a lot. There's a couple times where the things like the, um, maybe the bank line, I can't, I can't remember bank line, maybe the uh, canteen cook set or whatever. There's a couple of things that he re references in here that, you know, there's a good place to find these. And, and some of those, that's because it's really hard to find them somewhere else. I don't think there's anybody else that makes a stainless steel canteen cook set but the Pathfinder store slash the canteen store, canteen shop rather. So they referenced that one I think in here and a couple of things. But all in all, it's not a big sales pitch for Dave Canterbury. It's not a big sales pitch for the Pathfinder store. It's just a really well written primer, a basic you know, starting guide, just like it says, Bushcraft 101. And I gotta say, I am proud of Dave for not changing that that's all I'll say about that one too. So if you're looking, you know, on the fence, maybe you were looking at this book thinking, okay, should I buy it or not? Look, you know what? Unless you just hate Dave Canterbury, even if you do hate Dave Canterbury, the book's still good. So I'd check it out if I were you. All right. Well, as always, I really appreciate your watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, I would invite you to. Um, if, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let Google know you like outdoor videos and you like stuff like this. And share, share, share with your friends. It really, really helps me out. And if you'd like to support this channel more, just check out the Amazon links below. There'll be a link, of course, to this book. And I'll put a link to my store down there. It really benefits. The channel helps me you know, get a little bit of money to keep buying stuff to review. And I just really appreciate it. So once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time.